Alright, this is uh, the first electric go-kart that I built. The cart is geared to go 40 miles per hour, and it gets there in a little over 3 seconds. Um, before I go demonstrate the cart, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the components. So we have 8 sealed lead acid batteries. They're 12 volts and 20 amp hours each. Uh, we have four in back. Originally we had six in the back, but we had to move two up front uh, because of weight distribution. So now we have four in the back and four more in the front. Um, the batteries are wired so that the system voltage is 48 volts. So we have two sets of four in series and then those two sets are wired in parallel. Um, this is our motor. It's a Briggs & Stratton E-Tech motor. The motor does about 8 horsepower continuous and about 15 to 20 horsepower peak. Um, the controller that we used is a, just a standard golf cart controller. It's an Altrax controller. This is one of the high performance versions though. It's programmable uh, and it's 48 volts, 400 amps. So when we first were doing some testing, the cart, the cart was very fast with that controller, but we realized that the controller was the limiting factor, so we added this feature of boost switch to it. What that is, is an 800 amp solenoid, which you see right here. And this solenoid, when you, when you hit this button, it opens up the solenoid and it bypasses the speed controller and basically wires the batteries directly to the motor. Um, and it, the cart goes a lot faster, accelerates a lot faster with the boost switch. We'll demonstrate that later. Um, the controller has a 0 to 5k ohm input and to, to regulate the speed, and what we did with, to, to get that 0 to 5k ohms is we hooked up a potentiometer to our gas pedal, just we linked it up here. This is the potentiometer, you can get those at Radio Shack. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to demonstrate the cart's acceleration without the boost switch. Now I'm going to show the cart's acceleration with the boost button. Now I'm going to do it for, from a rolling start because it's bad for the cart's uh, components like the motor, the gear, the sprocket and chain and all that for me to do it from a standstill. So here it goes. Alright, let's, let's do that one more time. Here it goes. 